So part 2 says to find the position vector of the point P on AB such that O to P is perpendicular to A to B. So let's draw a diagram. We've got A here and B here. And it says P is on the line such that it's perpendicular to the origin. So P has this setup. P is some multiple, some value here that they then group together like that to give us P's vector. So P has this setup for some particular value T. So say if, if T was 1, then we would have 5, 1, 2. Um, our job is to find out what T needs to be to make this a right angle. And that's going to involve using the dot product because we know that if two vectors are perpendicular, then the dot product is 0. So if we take the dot product of A to B, now A to B is, um, well we've worked out B to A, B to A is this thing here, 2 minus 1 minus 1, so we may as well use that, so 2 minus 1 minus 1, when dotted with this, needs to give us 0. So if we go ahead and work that out, 2 lots of 3 plus 2t, minus 1 lot of 2 minus t, and minus 3 minus t needs to be 0. So if we expand all the brackets, we can collect the t's together, and therefore then work out p's coordinate, which I'm sure is what it asks for. Yeah, well, it's, it's position vector. So that will be 6 take away uh, 2 take away 3 is 1, and 4 plus 2, uh, sorry, 4 plus 1 plus another one is 6. So um, t is going to be negative a 6. And when we put that in here, so if I just take that, And put that down here. Just get rid of that B in the way. The P is going to be, um, it's minus a sixth, so three minus two sixths, which is a third, two plus a sixth, and three plus a sixth. So 3 minus a third is 8 thirds, 2 plus a sixth is 13 sixths, and 3 plus a sixth is 19 sixths, so that's P.